Hey folks, I'm back with a new friend battle. Uh, this is against Luna874. Luna, if you're watching, I bet you thought you'd never see this battle uploaded. I recorded it exactly a month ago today. Um, and yeah, so this is using my OU singles team, um, which, you know, between all the, the tournament that I'm using it in, I, you know, you guys have seen a lot of this. Um, I don't remember whether this one um, has the modification to obey item clause or not. I guess we're going to find out in a minute. Anyway, he leads off with Azelf, I lead off with um, Stella, my Crobat, and I go ahead and taunt him. I'm not sure if I'm going to be faster, um, because even though I did EV train it, it doesn't have perfect stats. Um, and the, I do, I am faster, and I get the taunt off. And you know, he can't use taunt, he was going to taunt me. I'm not exactly sure why he was going to taunt me. But whatever. Um, so I'm done. I go ahead and you turn out um, because I figure either he's going to pull out or he's going to uh, explode um, because as elves tend to be suicide leads. Um, so I go ahead and send in an Empoleon who with his, with its um, uh, steel type resists explosion. I really wasn't expecting this. Um, Tux isn't bred as well as he should be, but I really didn't expect it to hit the focus sash. Um, Azelf has amazing attacks, uh, amazing attack stat, 125 attack, one of the most powerful um, explosions in the game. So I guess I shouldn't have been that surprised, but it's not like I had a ghost or anything, so or anyone who would protect. So anyway, I have to pull back Stella um, because um, there's going to be an, uh, a priority uh, bullet punch, and I don't want that. So Caesar goes ahead and uses bullet punch, which is resisted by Pazuzu, my Zapdos. Um, and so this is a life orb Caesar. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying it's Caesar. Um, Caesar, I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and use Heat Wave, um, which was a mistake, um, because had I remembered his selection screen... Um, which I didn't see too long ago, um, I would have thought, well, you know, he's going to predict that and, of course, send out Heatran. So now uh, I've activated his Flash Fire and I'm completely screwed. I figure even with Flash Fire, um, you know, okay, so i got to pull out Pazuzu. Um, there's no other way. Except for I look over at my team and realize there's no better choice. I don't really have a counter for Heatran. Um, so I'm like, oh, geez. Oh, well, not much choice here. Um, I'm going to have to hope that Pazuzu can weather the hit. And um, I go ahead and go for a discharge, um, which will do a lot of damage. Um, Heatran uses Fire Blast, uh, which one hit KOs Pazuzu. Um, as, again, well, with the flash fire and everything. And I'm like, oh, geez. Um so I consider who I've got to send in next. Um, and I go ahead and choose Empoleon, uh, who will be able to do some damage with Aqua Jet. Um, I'm not sure why he pulled out here, um, but he goes ahead and pulls out and sends out uh, Gyarados. So um, between Intimidate and the fact that um, Gyarados resists it, uh, Aqua Jet is going to do nothing. Uh, so that's a shame. I guess he was... Okay, I see what he was trying to do here. Um, his, he wants to give his Gyarados a chance to set up, and he knows that Tux... I'm going to have to switch out. So I go ahead and pull back Tux and send out um, Umbreon. Um, Mick, my shiny Umbreon, who's been far more useful than I ever thought. Um, he goes ahead and body slams. I guess he was thinking maybe I wouldn't switch out. Not sure. Anyway, um, body slam hits and paralyzes Mick. Um, bit of hacks for him, but it turns out to be a bit of hacks for me because I've got Lumberry and Synchronize. So that's paralyzed him, completely crippling Gyarados while uh, I'm no longer paralyzed. Not that um, Mick would mind the paralysis. So I go ahead and set up with Curse, um, uh, expecting him to switch out um, and go to maybe someone who knows Heal Bell. I don't know. But he decides, yeah, he's going to keep it in and go ahead and substitute. Um, so it's not good for me that, um, Mick is faster. So I gotta keep on cursing to get his speed lower. Um, because otherwise payback is gonna do nothing. So he goes ahead and dragon dances, and between his dragon dance and my two curses, he's now gonna outspeed me. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and go for a payback, um, and break his sub before he gets a chance to set up even more. And I get some para hacks here, which, whatever. Um, it's nice. Um, 
Uh, anyway, plus two um, payback is going to break his sub, and he's going to go ahead and go for another body slam. Um, yeah, I'm actually I'm a bit surprised that he has body slam, and I'm a little bit one. I'm wondering why he wasn't using um, I don't know uh, waterfall something like that. Uh, anyway, payback does a lot of damage. He goes ahead and body slams again, even at plus two defense, although he's at plus one attack. Um, that's hitting me a lot harder than I would have liked, uh, and I can't say that I'm happy about it. Anyway, Mick goes ahead and does another payback, and Gyarados is down. Um, so I've taken out, uh, his sweeper, which is nice, but I still got nothing to counter that Heatran. Uh, had he not switched out that Heatran, I would have been in a very bad spot. Anyway, he sends out a Flygon, and, um, I didn't say, what the heck, I'm gonna go ahead and, um fodder mick on the off chance that he survives all moonlight um flygon uses outrage uh hits hard no i guess i knew, i thought that it would survive it was a plus two defense so and i was expecting outrage or something like that so i'm gonna moonlight away the damage and i see that um moonlight is gonna recover lots more than outrage is doing uh, outrage hits again and yeah it's doing about a quarter so i can safely just moonlight um until, you know, uh, his outrage ends or until I get up, back up to full health. So, um, at this point, do I, uh, do another moonlight? Uh, no, I guess not. I go ahead and attack with payback at this point. Um, keep in mind I'm at plus two. Uh, so he gets in another outrage, um, which again isn't doing too much damage because of all the boosts that I've been getting. Um, Mick goes ahead and uses Payback, which at plus two attack, uh, gets Flygon down to almost no HP, and he gets confused at this point, which is great. Um, so, this was a mistake on my part. Um, I go ahead and attack to try to take it out, but he uses Confusion. I could have uh, Moonlighted away the last of uh, my damage, or I could have used another Curse, um, but instead I used Payback, which was not the best move. Um, since he, there was a 50% chance of him fainting. Uh, so now he sends out Scissor, and, um, not sure. I guess I'll pay back since I don't really have a better counter now that Zapdos is down. He uses X Scissor, which, um, even super effective, uh, Mix survives with 2 HP. Uh, absolutely amazing. Um, that was, I guess, really lucky on my part. Um, but, yeah, way more lucky than I can, can believe. Mick is amazing. So I gotta pull, uh, my Umbreon back and send in someone else. Uh, Stella will be able to resist his attacks, so figure that's a good choice. Um, out goes my, uh, out goes Stella. Yeah, you notice neither of us had a chance to set up, um, uh, entry hazards this game because um, Empoleon was crippled before he really would have had a chance uh, on my side and I taunted his Azelf. Um, so anyway, yeah, I get slammed by whatever attack he used. Bullet punch on them? I don't know. So I gotta send out Jirachi now, so this is really bad. Uh, he goes ahead and uses another bullet punch, not predicting my switch, which, you know, after all, that was a bad switch to have... Uh, Stella out in the first place. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and attack with Jirachi. Now, Scissor's down to like no HP. Fire Punch is a bad move, uh, because Jirachi is, um, you know, has a scarf. So, um, he's gonna be locked into Fire Punch, and all he has to do is send out his, um, Heatran, uh, to force me to pull back. So, but I do it, and I'm just, it's stupid on my part. Um, you know, Zen Headbutt, I guess Zen Headbutt would have been 4x resisted, but Iron Head would have only been 2x resisted and would have done, that would have probably been enough to take him out. So I gotta pull back Jirachi, which sucks. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and send Stella back out, um, basically as fodder. Um, but he goes ahead and uses Earth Power, um, which is really lucky for me. I, w I can't say I was predicting that. So now I'm predicting that he's gonna switch and I'm gonna have a chance to roost off the damage. Um, but, you know, this is a risky move on my part. If he predicts my roost, then I'm totally and completely screwed. Um, but he doesn't, uh, which is great, uh, because now he's pulled back Heatran and sent out Electivire. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and roost up the damage. 
Um, and now I'm going to go for another bit of prediction. I predict that he's going to use a flying, uh, a, uh, an electric type move. So I go ahead and U-turn. Um, oh, and yeah, this is the, my version of stall that has life orb instead of leftovers. Uh, hits a little bit harder, but takes more damage. Leftovers is the better item here. Uh, and so I'm going to, I'm predicting that he's going to use an electric attack. And so I switch into Fupa Loop, my Mammoth Swine, and, um, Thunder Punch, he used Thunder Punch, so that was a good prediction on my part. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and attack him with uh, Earthquake. Yeah, why not Earthquake? Um, because both of his remaining guys are weak against it. So he goes ahead and Fire Punches, um, and he is faster, um, because my Fupa Loop uh, needs to be rebred for better speed. Um, otherwise, it would have been a speed tie, I think. I don't know. Is Electivire base 80 speed or is it base 100? I don't know. If it's base 80 speed, then it would have been a speed tie um, had I properly trained this guy. Anyway, um, I take out his Electivire, and he's down to his last Pokemon, even though I've got a good number left. I don't have any counters for him. And he's just taken out Fupa Loop, so um, he's locked into Fire Blast, and so I start thinking, okay... That's his, technically it's his third fire blast, it's his second fire blast, but he's down three PPs because the first one was against Pazuzu. So all I gotta do is stall him out, and uh, he's gonna be forced to struggle. So I go ahead and have Tux use Aqua Jet, getting a little bit of damage. Um, and yeah, he goes ahead and uses fire blast, that's, um, now he's down to four PP, and I'm, you know, I'm hoping that I've, I'll be able to stall far enough. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. This is risky. So I go ahead and decide I'm going to fodder Mick at this point. Um, yeah, I, you know, using the guys with the lowest amount of HP. Um, so out goes Mick. And, you know, I tell him to use Moonlight just in case, you know, just as a move to do. Um, but, you know, I figure he's dead. Uh, and then I get a bit of hacks, Fire Blast misses. So that was his fifth PP of Fire Blast. And I restore my health. And so the question is, can Mick survive a Fire Blast? And the answer is... Better drum roll, please. Uh, yes, but just barely. I mean, look at that. You know, if, if I get burned, um, or if I get, you know, I mean... If I get burned or, um, you know, he gets a crit, I'm dead. Um, so that's number six. And again, it's doing pretty much 50% damage. Um, and so I, there's no margin for error here. Uh, Fire Blast seven. Um, Mix survives uh, with a bit more HP. You know, there's some randomness built in in terms of how much damage it'll actually do. So I'm just roosting it, uh, moonlighting it away. Oh, I guess I miscounted. So now he's forced to struggle. And so I'm like, score! Awesome! I just, this was a really cheap victory, I guess. You know, forcing this guy into, you know, you're stalling this guy into struggle. But I had no other counters for Heatran. None at all. It's a big failing of this team that I have no counters for Heatran. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use Curse at this point. Um, because I'm at full HP. Uh, you know, just, there's no point in moonlighting. And I don't really feel like attacking. Uh, yeah, so he gets a crit there. Um, not when he needed it. And Struggle is just eating it away at him. Um, and I'm just stalling for the end and uh, waiting for him to kill himself. And this is it. This is his last attack. Um, and uh, Mick survives, and uh, Heatran goes down, and I've won the match. Uh, Luna, if you're watching this, uh, sorry it took me so long to upload. That was an amazing, amazing battle. Um, I hope everyone else enjoyed watching it. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, and enjoy. Wow.